country. During the 1984 NBA draft, the Blazers passed up on Michael Jordan to take center Sam Bowie second overall. Selects Sam Bowie, University of Kentucky. The Chicago Bulls pick Michael Jordan, University of North Carolina. He wants to indicate where he's going to take off on this stone. He just made you wish that you could fly in the air. He wears strange looking sneakers. Oh yes, his own shoe. They call it Air Jordan. But now in just a matter of weeks, he has exploded and blossomed into a player of daring creativity. Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player I've ever seen. Better than LeBron, better than Kobe, better than everybody. And now in his own town, Chicago, Michael Jordan here to defend the 1987 Slam Dunk Championship. Just how famous he was. You know, I, I, I was there when Bird was coming in and out every night. Bird was famous, Magic was famous. And here is the defending champion. Michael had a different level of just, when he walked in, it was like a hurricane. Just every eye in the building was always on him at all times. You sound like you're describing Muhammad Ali, you know that. It, was, it was like Ali. Sadly competitive. Like really, like almost you could say he had a problem. He was so competitive. His entire life just revolved around beating other people. Elo looks. Elo in the dance. Back to Elo. He drives. He scores! Elo drove it right down the wing and scores! 100 to 99 with three seconds to play. Now Chicago has three seconds to try to win it. The Cavs were just three seconds away from eliminating the upstart Bulls. But those three seconds would have an impact for years to come. Here's our story here at Richfield Coliseum. One of these teams will advance to the Eastern Conference semifinals against the New York Knicks. The Bulls have three seconds to try a shot and try to win the game. You'll see the drama unfold. The thing that, that made Michael so special, he did it on the highest level. individual that is uh, universally recognized as, as one of and arguably the greatest basketball player that we have ever seen, a six-time champion. Soon he began to make his mark when it counted most. The 1991 NBA Finals. Today, game one between the Los Angeles Lakers and the Chicago Bulls. Where he turned the finals into his own personal showcase. Basketball fans, wherever you may be, welcome to the NBA Finals. Portland and Chicago. It was almost inevitable. And now, the starting lineup for your world champion, Chicago Bulls! Jordan against Rexford. Clyde against Michael. The 
is this what Michael lived for? He wanted this. Dominant in basketball, that its collegiate players were all that was needed to win the gold. And here's the frosting for the USSR. They win it. 82-76. The United States goes home stunned with a semifinal loss to the bigger, more experienced, and perhaps more clever. Those other countries were using pros. Playing against 18, 19-year-old kids. That is really unfair. It has been loss after loss for U.S. basketball at these tournaments. And what was once a golden tradition has paled into something less brilliant. But this year, America has assembled the Dream Team. Just moments ago, the Dream Team boarded the bus outside their hotel along the Rambles. They are heading for their first matchup in Barcelona with the Angolans. I don't know anything about Angola, but Angola's in trouble, I think. A 6-6 guard, Michael Jordan. What may well be the best basketball team ever assembled. We wanted to showcase to the fans who will be representing them. It's a watershed moment in the history of sports. Not just, not just the Olympics, not just basketball. Never before and never again will there be such a team. The U.S. with a 46 to 1 run. 46 to 1. It was just a tremendous atmosphere because there was an appreciation for how great the U.S. players were. This team of all stars is almost too good. Some think that we should go back to the collegiate. It's been too easy. You know, Rudy gonna stand out and root against Picasso? I mean, I you mean, know, seriously. They rooted for genius at work. I kept thinking that the attention would dissipate. They're gonna play the first game. They're gonna win by 60. People are gonna go back and watch Trek. The guy on the bench is taking pictures. building and building and building. It gave birth to international stars who had nothing to do with those games in 92, but who took so much from it. And it really lifted basketball. The level of fame, the people who knew him, they put his head on a bottle of cologne because you didn't need to see his face. I'm raising the bar to the highest level that I've ever raised it in any sport I've ever covered, to the Michael Jordan level. God want us to win World Championship. <laughs> I don't know if I go that much. I'm not. I don't know. life just revolved around beating other people. That's how he measured himself. That's how he measured everyone he played good. And he really couldn't ever let it go. And I think that's what made him the best. And Michael Jordan with 55 points. The third year, Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls have climbed the Mount Olympus of the NBA. Mr. James Jordan, father of Michael Jordan. Last night, we began the show with the disappearance of Michael Jordan's father. The worst fears have come true. James Jordan was found dead, victim of an apparent murder. He was shot to death while in his car. Tonight for all Chicagoans, Bull star Michael Jordan will announce his retirement tomorrow. I achieved practically everything I could from an individual standpoint and from a team standpoint. And it really made it easy to walk away while he was on top. Will I ever unretire? I don't know. When Michael Jordan first retired from the Chicago Bulls in October of 1993, following his father's murder, the sports world was shocked. Four months later, Jordan dropped another bombshell. 
he decided to pursue a career in baseball. A reality, but it's still not a reality. So we're just not pinning any hopes. So we're not trying to, you know, throw up a balloon or a kite that's not ready to fly. It has been a wonderful run for the Chicago Bulls franchise this season, despite the loss of Michael Jordan. 35 seconds away from the Knicks dethroning the Chicago Bulls. To the 1994 NBA World Champion. Michael Jordan announced today he's coming back to basketball. Jordan returns to the NBA on NBC at noon Eastern. For three memorable years, red and black were the colors of royalty in the NBA. For his first field goal. And there it is. Michael Jordan. This man, I used to say, was the Babe Ruth of basketball. I've now come to believe that Babe Ruth was the Michael Jordan of baseball. Welcome back, Michael Jordan. Bulls looking for a phone booth. Best player I ever saw. No offense, Magic. Homicidal competitive. Like, really, like, almost you could say he had a problem. Her life just revolved around beating other people. And the Chicago Bulls and the New York Knicks. So Michael comes back to New York City. He loves playing in this gym. It's two for two to start. Who on God's name would stop Michael Jordan? First of all, the game was far more physical when Michael Jordan played. Oh, oh. and did you ask, is he back? And he still averaged 30. He's on fire. Or through his number. <laughs> Michael Jordan, 55 points. Superman. He will give you every bit that he has every minute. The Bulls beat the Knicks, 113-111. Uh, in his first full season back from retirement, Michael Jordan has done what seemed impossible. The Chicago Bulls have renamed the NBA throne, and for Michael Jordan, the King returns. 96 NBA championship. Make it four in six years. This beef killed to the point. Now the big story here tonight, the story concerning Michael Jordan's physical conditions. This Jordan arriving about two hours ago, he is suffering from flu-like symptoms, visibly shaken by the flu symptoms. Connecting from the corner. When you start thinking about all that he did, to me, he's the greatest player to ever play. It was the way he went out and stayed focused on that end result and said, hey, mentally, you are not, I am not going to let you beat me. that I think will go down as one of the greatest of his career. It is all over. The Bulls have won the title by the Phoenix Jazz, 90 to 86. It is Bedlam here at the United Center. Michael Jordan is the greatest basketball player I've ever seen. Better than LeBron, better than Kobe, better than everybody.
he's still Michael Jordan. Greatest who ever played. Yeah. You yeah. you you go right there. No, no question about it. Whatever he has lost through fatigue, through age, through whatever, has only brought him somewhat back to the field. He still leads the field. 16 seconds left. Bulls down one. Jordan. Jordan to drive. Hang. Fire. Chicago with the lead. The Chicago Bulls have won their sixth. NBA championship, and it's their second three-peat.